everybody from the City Symposium. It's my pleasure to introduce everybody, but I think that, it, that he doesn't need any introduction. Dr. Sutan, how are you doing? Pleasure, thank you so much for having me. It's our pleasure to have our colleague here with us in the City Symposium. And the first question is about one of your topics, the, uh, the dissections, the thoracic dissections. Do you think that we actually have really good tools for treat this, this pathology or do we need some improvements? What do you think about the, the actual technology? The current problem with the dissection is that it's an unmet need. Patients have a catastrophe and there isn't any uh, randomized control trial to tell you what's the best approach. People tell you that you could have best medical treatment and you might have a good outcome. And other people tell you that, look, you could have surgery and you might have a better outcome. And another group comes and tells you that, look, you could have an endovascular intervention and you have to have a better outcome. However, if you compare all of them, we don't have that solid result to tell us exactly what's going on. So we were looking for something new, a disruptive technology that will allow us to treat all patients and we have a simplicity, consistency, and reproducibility of the results. And this is where the streamliner uh, multi-flow technology uh, comes in. It allows lamination of the flow without blocking any of the side branches and equalizes the pressure between the false and the true lumen, leading to a better outcome with zero instance of paraplegia. And if we have that, we're winning. We are uh, uh, running the global registry for um, aortic dissection using the multi-flow modulator and the results are amazing and outstanding and it will be the gold standard in my own vision over the next two to three years for dissection. And this is just for the dissection this technology or also we, we need to use it in the aneurysm for example? That's a good very good question that aneurysms now depend on volume rather than diameter. The bigger the volume the bigger the problem. There's something called um, adventitious elastolysis, which is meaning that the aortic wall have went beyond repair. So whether you're going to do an open repair, whether you're going to do a stent graft or multi-flow modulator, it's like an inoperable cancer. So if you have a 10 centimeter stroke abdominal aneurysm, that's a terminal problem. The patient will go to surgery, but they'll never do well. And this is when we're going to say that it might not benefit a flow modulator. However, if you have a saccular aneurysm or aneurysm less than uh, six centimeters, they'll do very well with the multi-flow modulators. I know that you are very happy with this technology, but for example, for the next five or ten years, we have actually some amid needs. How do you see the future in this with the new technologies? The, the future with new technology is to, to go back to molecular basis, to see what's the problem that arose for the aneurysm rather than we're doing this primitive mechanical way of trying to sort it. So if we'll be able to sort the molecular basis to prevent the elastolysis in the adventitia, we will be able to treat that. You give a statin, still it's not the way. You give aspirin, is not the way. You give ARB for blood pressure, is not the way. You need something that acts directly on a molecular basis to treat the aneurysm. Until then, we need to use the physiological pattern or our innate uh, body ability to heal rather than to exclude any pathology and that's the whole idea we need to shift our mind to the new way of managing of AAA is treating or healing the aneurysm rather than excluding the aneurysm or the dissection from the circulation and what about the open surgery do you think that the, is there any place actually to the open surgery or just oh. for the complications of the end of procedures if you have access to um, Houston where uh, Professor Hazem Safi operate, I tell you, it's your best option. But it's very, very limited amount of patients that be able to travel and offer to be treated in this top center where the volume is huge and the complication is very low. However, you need to create a technology that everybody could use it and everybody could have the same amount of results. And that's very, very important in planning the future management of such pathology. And talking about the, the reference standard, do you think that actually these more complex uh, pathologies, these more complex cases, they should be done for just a reference center or that everybody can do it? That's very good. Currently now, deliberate, deliberate practice volume dictate that you do the complex cases in big centers. However, with the stretching of all the um, budgets, 
uniting to try and you don't have beds, you don't have ability to get enough people, you need to create some sort of a technology that allow everybody could use it in any other place and that's crucial. Okay, and the last question is for the patients because all of us know what is an aneurysm or dissection, but the patients usually know what is a cancer, for example, but they doesn't know anything about aneurysm, dissection. Do you think it's important to give them more information through uh, internet, some the news? What do you think about it? That's a very, very good, strong question. The trying to teach patient about the pathology is very important and this is what we usually call primary prevention so general practitioners have to teach them all the patients come to you they already read about the pathology they read about who's the best guy in that field and they come to you to be fixed in order to get this we need a very big campaign the world health organization has predicted that next year 70 percent of acute admission to any hospital is cardiovascular related and that's huge. That means that everybody needs to know about the problem from a heart attack to stroke to aneurysm. But it's up to us to go in and fight it. You have the endovascular TV. It's very strong and a lot of patients read about it and it's very important to understand. Thank you for sharing with us your experience and your thoughts. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Thank you.